What's up? It's your boy that Dragon J here again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master video. Today we're gonna be doing something not different, but we're gonna be going back to one of my old decks. And the reason being is that I always look for ways to make new decks as well as improve upon the decks I made, so I always keep them um irrelevant and up to date. And my Thunder Dragon deck needed to upgrade it. It need it needed to upgrade, need to be updated. So um I added my Thunder Dragon with a little bit of Brandon and a little bit of Vistro. Um, and I renamed it Branded Thunder Dragons. Um, I should name I, I'm about, I should name it Branded Dragons. Ooh, I don't know. We'll say, but anyway, I redid that. Um, and it's basically a new take on it. It works really well together. Deck works really well together. So I'm gonna get some dozer that see how it goes, and um, see if it's a recipe that's gonna be basically a new updated recipe for the Thunder Dragon. that's gonna stick. Um. I'll go over, yeah. So, with that being said, uh, thank you for stopping by, tuning in. Appreciate that. Make sure you follow the prompt that pops up and subscribe to the Dragon Nation as well. Hit that bell for notifications so I can keep you notified when I drop a video and stay up to date with my channel. I will see you when I get door one at the end of the video. I will do a short deck profile, so stay tuned for that. Q transition. And we are here with Duel 1. Just like always my Thunder Dragon deck, I do like to go first. I didn't win a coin toss, so I'm going to see what my opponent chooses to do. I'm going second. Which, I mean, it doesn't really hurt me that bad with this deck profile. Um, I can still work with it. It works better if I go first, but I can still work with this deck profile. Um, if I went first, this would have been an amazing hand. Because off the rip, I automatically have... Uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus, and my opponent would have been to draw no cards essentially. Um, yeah, so like if I had went first, this would have been very good going first hand. Okay, so not not bad hand at all, not bad hand at all. All right, so we gonna set. I'm gonna summon a Thunder Dragon Matrix. I'm gonna activate um a Thunder Dragon Dark. I'm also gonna set Branded Befallen. Special Summon, Thunder Dragon, Colossus. Activate Thunder Dragon. Okay. I'm going to do... Battle. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of Grandmaster. I'm gonna end my turn on that. I believe. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end our turn on that. So now, so now with this setup, right, I have technically four cards that I can use to protect my Thunder Dragon Colossus. Um, I can basically stop my opponent from drawing cards outside, oh, outside her draw phase, unless the card specifically says draw. And I can essentially set... Yeah, I can essentially kind of basically I can essentially stop my opponent from I'm not not really playing the duel but doing too much. Like I can I can stop my opponent from doing too much, which with this deck and we have a setup, 
it basically gives me time to get out my Thunder Dragons I need, my, um, or my, um, Bistros, or my branded fusions that I would need to, um, not really need, but that, that I would want to get on the field to, um, better get a prep, field presence, kind of go for the win. So far, not looking too bad. Well, I just like to set this right now. Now, 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 watch what I do here, right? But I'm about to show you some. I'm about to show you some slick right here, right? I'm gonna summon Thunder Dragon Titan. I'm gonna summon Thunder Dragon Titan by banishing this card and this card. That activates. Now you would think I'm gonna go for Thunder Dragon Fusion, right? That'd be the obvious choice, which kind of would, but I'm gonna do something a little bit better. I'm gonna get Thunder Dragon Hawk. Now I'm gonna use Thunder Dragon Hawk to activate his effect. Oh dang, I freaked up. I should have activated. Uh, special summon Thunder Dragon Dark. I messed up on that one. I'm gonna activate Thunder Dragon Dark, Thunder Dragon Roars effect. So while my opponent didn't negate the effect, it didn't destroy my card. And once again, it doesn't hurt me if I have Thunder Dragon cards in my graveyard. Or in my banter zone, actually. It just makes it, if anything, is better. But it doesn't actually hurt me. And now I'm going to go for battle. So I'm going to go and... I'm gonna get rid of this card. So the reason I'm not attacking Six Samurai um, Zan, because if I did I'd in the battle phase, I would essentially have to sack two more Thunder Dragons to the graveyard. And while I do have a good amount in there, I don't wanna do it too much. So I do wanna have some cards for next turn. Uh, and then with that, I'm gonna end my turn. And now my opponent can't really draw us out of their draw phase. If they do try to build a field, I do have a I do have Thunder Dragon Matrix, so I can pop one of their cards and kind of sitting pretty right now. Yeah, so right now we're kind of sitting, we're sitting good. Like, I don't think there's anything my opponent can really do. Um, to really. Well, no, there there is things my opponent can do. Like, say for example, right, my opponent had a freaking um evenly matched. My opponent could definitely turn this whole door around. Um, but yeah, luckily my opponent doesn't have that. Plus, you don't usually see you don't usually see um.
So I'm gonna activate this, right? Target my Thunder Dragon Colossus. To then activate Thunder Dragon Titan. Destroy that car. Now I could use his effect, which I might actually. So I'm gonna use his effect. We're gonna banish Thunder Dragon Dark and Thunder Dragon Roar. Now both their effects is gonna prop. I'm gonna activate Thunder Dragon Dark first. And then I'm gonna activate Thunder Dragon Roar. This is gonna allow me to grab a Thunder Dragon of Fusion. So first is gonna allow me to special summon Thunder Dragon. Now I'm gonna add a Thunder Dragon Fusion card. effect now I get that returned to my hand and I think that's pretty much GJ because I'm gonna activate Thunder Dragon Matrix again Target my Thunder Dragon Colossus again. Activate Thunder Dragon Roar. Thunder Dragon Titan. I, I'm, I am missing Thunder Dragon Titan's a secondary effect like a couple of times, and that's because I haven't used this deck in a minute, so. I gotta remember that effect. Um, but we're gonna bring back from the banishment zone, we're gonna bring back a Thunder Dragon Matrix to my hand. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually call by the grave and I'm gonna banish that card and say that effect. And that's the door. Give it to me. What's up? That's how we do it. That's the door. It's over. GG. GG. That's the door. That's the... That's the door right there. So, <clears throat> GG on my opponent's part. Um, good duel all around. It's just Thunder Dragons are just a really good solid archetype and i feel like they are really good when paired with another archetype that works off of banishing or that needs to banish cards so then you can banish your thunder dragons and still get their effects while being able to use your other archetype that's off like bystros work really well with thunder dragons but that was dole one i'm gonna see you in dole two q transition We are here with Duel 2. Let's see how it do. Okay, I won a coin toss. I'm going to choose to go first. Like I said, this deck works really good going first. So as we get that first turn, Thunder Dragon Colossus on the field. You can go second. You can make it work. It's just that typically with the way I build this deck, I always get good hands. And it's just a really good going first hand. In this situation, that's not the case. It's not good going for good first hand. But... It is what it is. Um, hopefully we can just make a comeback. But this is definitely not a good going first hand. So all we can do is just call by the grave. 
And hopefully my opponent, hopefully my opponent goes hard, but not too hard. And then, you know what I mean? I have Fallen Albion. It's like, this is actually going second hand. Like, this hand is actually going second hand. Yeah, like, this, this hand will be a good going second hand, in all honesty. But I just like going first, because most of my hands are good going first hands. But this hand would definitely be a good going second hand. But we can make it work, because we do have Albions. We have the Call by the Grave. We have the Ash, which is good. So we have two ways to kind of stop or negate my opponent if they try to start up something. We also have that Fallen Albion, so that if I can just stop them enough, so that they have, like, one monster in the field, something like that, I can just use that monster to my advantage. Uh, so we have here. The next battle or effect damage you take this turn will become zero. You also you have to find some cards. Just don't know. Don't turn off some of your deck. Um, for um, yeah. Um, Like I said, all my opponent going too crazy. So that that's the, my opponent's normal. That's my opponent's special summon. So my opponent says a normal summon. Um, but that card I can actually use with my Fallen Albions to summon a monster. So that's actually fine. Because I can actually use that monster to my advantage. So I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I hope my opponent say, well, now nah. my opponent barrel for the sake, I don't get another card that's I got another Fallen Albions. Mm, 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 mm. So, what I could do uh, summon Fallen Albions. Uh, we're going to use Fallen Albions effect. We're going to discard Fallen Albions. So, seeing you know how my opponent did that, I kind of don't want them to start anything or think they're going to get cards off me. So, I'm going to call by the grave that card. No, I'm, I'm not even going to get my opponent hand. I'm going to call by the grave. Because I'm going to do at least two special summonings. And if there's anything I learned is that giving your opponent any type of hand is not good. So, we are going to, like, cut that out from the rip. We, we're not doing that. Um, now, I could do Venom Dragon, but I don't want to do that. We're going to do... We're going to do... Uh, we're gonna go Lubian to use Lubian's effect, and we're literally just Why would you do that? They don't know what they're doing. Oh my god, they don't know what they're doing. Oh my god, they don't know what they're fucking doing. Yo! GG's. GG's, but they do know what they They don't know how chains work. <laughs> They wasn't ready! 
That opponent doesn't know how chains work. <laughs> what makes that funny is that I've I've done that before. I just haven't immediately surrendered, but I've legit done that same thing before. Where I didn't, where I wasn't understanding. That's how I know that player is a new player. Because when I first started, I didn't understand how chains work. I've done that before where I was like, oh, I can play this. And then chain as possible and stop my opponent's first card. It's like, no. Chain as possible hits the spur card in a chain that was before it. So you freaking activated your effect. And then as possible that shit. Oh man, but good duels all around. Hopefully, um, that player definitely gets the experience they need and they learn from this, and they grow and get better. It's just I can tell they're definitely a new player because they did not understand how chains work. Wow. All right, so that was duel two, and because that was funny, I am going to keep it in the video. That was good, <clears throat> but that was duel two, <clears throat> and hopefully, y'all got a little example of how the deck works and how good it can be. Um. How yeah, how yeah. Hold on, guys. How it works, how good it can be, and how the deck plays. It's a really good deck. It's fun to use, and just the. I mean, I didn't really get to show you it fully, but the Bystros and the branded fusions work really well with Thunder Dragons. So, uh, so that's how the deck uh, works. But. Before I do the outro, I am going to show you uh, the deck profile. So I did say I was going to do that. So I'm going to show you the deck profile real quick. Um, and just show you how it plays. Yeah, so real quick, the way the deck profile plays is a very simple deck. Like me personally, I do not like to go over 42 cards. And 43 is like pushing it. But I can live with 43 cards, right? And the way I play this deck is I run a standard Thunder Dragon recipe, right? Three Thunder Dragon Matrix, three Thunder Dragon, three Thunder Dragon Dark, two Thunder Dragon Hawk because um, card is really good. And then also um, two Thunder Dragon Roar. That's because before it was limited to two and they recently released the limit on it. But I like to play that too. And then for cards outside of the ordinary engine i do play two ash blossom because as you saw it's just ash blossom is just a really good staple card you know what i mean it's really good to have then i play two nemesis corridor and the reason being is that most of my cars or a lot of my cars i banish so being able to have the ability to shuffle that card back to my deck with thunder dragon um fusion right when i go for um my thunder dragon titan or my thunder dragon colossus right and also having the ability to just better pull my banished cards back into my hand is really good and it also allows me to get into thunder dragon colossus <clears throat> then my bistro engine um i would play more bistro magna mag magna hunt but unfortunately it is reduced to one um i i feel like if anything they should have hit it and kept it at two I feel like would have been okay because if you want to just run a pure bistro um deck with like support to support those cards, you really can't. You gotta play them as a support to another art type. You can't play them by yourself. And I feel like if they will at least put it at two, you will at least be able to play them by themselves and have as their own art type and have an art type that supports them instead of them supporting art type. But it is what it is, it's still a good card, so I'll play it at one. Uh Bistro Drumster, who well, I'll probably butcher name. But this card, I feel the same way about um, uh, Bahamut, is that it's just same thing. Good card. Could have kept that too. It is what it is. Um, and the reason this card is really good and the reason that um, I like it is that if it is on the field and it's sent to the graveyard, right, through any means, then you can essentially target a special monster, send it to the graveyard. And because you're not um, destroying it and just sending it, it gets past a lot of effects that um stop destruction as long as they don't stop targeting <clears throat> this car is really good as well because once again it's one of those things where like most of this deck is dark and light and because of that you are always have a dark or light monster in the field which means you're only to use its effect of if your opponent go tries a ritual do any kind of extra deck summoning you can just off rip um and it's a quick effect to control the monster you can just quick effect, no, send my monster to the graveyard, banish that card. And because most of these cards work by, I can re basically recycle them out of the graveyard. I want them in the graveyard. 
is just a really good car to have with Thunder Dragons. That's why I play two of them. Um, Bystro Lubion, I play three of these cards because once again, it's a really good way to get into my branded spell. And it's a really good way to get into my Bystros if I don't have them. So it's just, I play it at three. It's just, it's good to play at three. I play Regikai, which is a staple, my Harpy's Feather Duster. I play Ghost Sarcophagus. Um, Ghost Sarcophagus is really good because on the off chance I really don't have nothing, I can immediately um, go to Ghost Sarcophagus if I have it in my hand. Uh, go Ghost Sarcophagus, Thunder Dragon Dark, and the Thunder Dragon Heart, use its effect, special summon Thunder Dragon Dark, and then tribute it to summon Thunder Dragon Colossus. So it's just a, it's an easy way to just get a three turn, uh, three combo in the Thunder Dragon Colossus. I play Lord of Darkness, and once again, a lot of these cards work off of being banished, and most of my deck is dark, so it's just really good, because I'm not never going to have a dark card for the most part. So I play two of them. I play th two Thunder Dragon Fusion. self playing sorry. I play Branded Fusion. I might reduce, I might not. We'll, we'll see how it works, but I play this card just in case I don't have any way to go into a Fusion. I can at least go into my Jade. We're going to start up my Fusions to go into my Jade Arm um, Dragon. Mirror Jade. This card is really good because it works where if I do banish a card, I can immediately target that card, shuffle it in deck, and I get a and I can draw one card. So it allows me to have draw power on top of what I already have. I play hand destruction. Once again, I don't care if my cards in the graveyard, right? So hand destruction allows me to not only get two cards, new cards, if the cards I got aren't what I want, and put cards I need into the graveyard, but also allows me to scout what my opponent is doing and potentially mess up their hand by being able to see what cards they put in the graveyard and kind of better start to formulate what deck is they're playing so how should i play against it i do play miracle fusion and the reason being is that i do play preta um anaconda i mean i do play preta playing drag slot i do play starving venom dragon i do play starving um venom dragon few uh, i do play the regular starving venom fusion dragon i do play starving venom preta power dragon i do play guardian chimera so that's mainly for them Call of Grey, such is just really good, so I'll play that too. I used to play three evenly matched, but the way this deck is played, it's just I always have options. So evenly matched is just at it is just uh if I have no other options left, so I only need one. Um Imperm is just a really good guard to play, that's why I play it. It's really good to have on the field. <clears throat> um I play Branded Beast. Uh, reason being is that because I always once I start up my Bistro engine, I usually always have a Bistro on the field. It's a really good way to, if I have it, tribute it, and I can target my car, car my opponent controls and destroy it, and it's, um, and it's not, and I can target back or front row. So it's a really good way to have that destruction on the field if I need it. Um, also, if um, during the end phase, I can target one branded continuous spell or trap, place it face on my field, so if my other branded spell or traps are destroyed, I can just bring them back with this card. Now I play this card, it's really good, because once again, it's, um, it's really good because if I have a Bistro on the field, I can, especially if I have this card, I can basically banish, negate an effect, and then use Brand Regen, shuffle back in my deck, get a card. Or if my opponent is playing a lighter deck of card, light or dark deck against me, it's really good because I'd be like, all right, bet. Well, you activate effect. All right, well, I'm going to banish the exact card, banish one of your cards, and negate your effect. So it's a really good way to mess with my opponent. Um, as far as extra deck, I play one Starving Venom Dragon. is really good. I can usually get this out with Fusion Summon, so why not? It's a good card. I play one Thunder Dragon Colossus. I only got that one. I play one um, to hit the Ash Dragon. So it's just a really good card to... If you know you're going to win and you can summon this, summon it. You can boost it like 4,000, 5,000. It's a really good card. Um, I play Albion Branded Dragon because it combos into Lubian the Sarian Dragon. No matter if you do Lubian first or Albion first. And that immediately goes into Jade Dragon. You'll have one on the field afterwards, so it's a good way to have a strong monster on the field to do damage. Chimera Dragon is just really good. And with Fusion Summoning, you can basically interrupt your opponent. Um, and then if you do, you can draw the cards that you need. Yeah. Uh, yeah, draw the cards. Um, draw cards up to how many cards you use to Fusion Summon it, and then destroy cards on your opponent's veil. Oh, time main cards use the Fusion Summon. I use two Thunder Dragon Titan. I mean, because I only really need two. You can usually easily give them back onto your extra deck or into the field. So I usually use two, and it's just a really good card to pop field and have that field presence. 
I don't I haven't summoned this card yet, but it's a really good card because if it is summoned, it's another way to negate. Because if an opponent has a predator counter or there's a predator counter uh counter on the field, he essentially the send that card to graveyard and negate a uh, effect card or a effect. Um Yeah, you negate the effect. So it's really good for that. Um I don't usually use it, but I mean it's good either way. And I'll play one underworld goddess. I might switch that in all honesty, but that's essentially the deck profile. And it's been working a lot for me. It's been working really well. And this is basically the updated deck profile that I'm gonna use for my Thunder Dragons to give them a little more oomph. So that way can stay up to date and stay irrelevant with the meta that's currently being dropped. But that's gonna be in the video. For better stop by, tuned in. Thank you, appreciate you. Make sure to follow the prop that pops up and hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know how you like the video. Your comments help me grow as a content creator as I grow my channel as a content provider. Um, also, make sure that, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, as far as announcements, uh, if I have a Twitch, if you go to Twitch, check out my panels page, you'll be able to see a little bit about me, some rules and regulations. You know, same old, same old. Just so you respect our fellow person. And links um, for my social medias that I use outside of YouTube to stream content. I'm going to be adding TikTok soon. So I'm starting to be using that soon to stream content as well. Now that I'm more used to this. But the two that's currently up is my YouTube channel and my Twitch. You click on the link for YouTube. It's going to send you right to my YouTube. Where you can check out my videos. Um, I got a bunch of content over there. And a bunch of content coming and more kind of plant. So go check that out. Drop a like, comment. Let me know how you like the video. Subscribe, all that good stuff, and hit that bell. Um, also, if you click back on the Twitch link, you'll see directly my Twitch. The other one is my Twitter. Twitter is a good way to be aware of my content. So we click that link and send to my Twitter. Be aware of my content and when I drop it. I always tweet out before I drop any content. When it comes to streaming, I always tweet out one two hours before I drop it with all the information about the stream. And I always tweet out the game day and time frame that my recorded videos go public. So look for to that. Also, it's a good way to suggest content to me. If it's a video game or a video reaction you think I'll enjoy or you enjoy watching me record, do not be afraid to suggest it through Twitter. I'm very open to most content. It's gonna help me expand my content and broaden my horizon. Besides me going off you, the likes that you get in my videos and my metrics and what it says on my metrics for YouTube. So, <clears throat> and if you want more original content, uh, more streams, earlier streams, longer streams, uh, more proofs besides what I'm doing, as well as uh, overall um, more broader horizon content. Support your boy on all platforms I post content on, which is YouTube with a like, comment, subscribe, Twitter with a follow, and Twitch with a follow and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. They're free. It don't cost you no money. It's better to have that knowledge and not need it than to need it and not have it. You'll be the first one to be aware of my videos. You never know. I might drop something that you're interested in. Also on YouTube, get your boy. I know the Dragon Nation is strong. I know we can do it. I know we got soldiers. So make sure you get these videos to 2,000 likes to get your boy really i mean really in that youtube algorithm you feel me but as i made a video for everybody to stop by wow wow but that's gonna be the end of the video and as always this is your boy that dragon j and remember no matter what you do no matter what you start no matter what you put your time into because you're also amazing thank you for all all the support keep that same energy See y'all next time, y'all. Deuces!